Hey, 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 how's everybody doing? I'm back. Let me give something about being mindful and aware. Let me give you a testimony of what just happened to me. And I will give the reason why I think, think I'm very grateful that I was mindful on what was going on. What had happened was I was sitting at an apartment complex. And while I'm sitting at the apartment complex, I had my vehicle running. And it had got hot, so I had taken my sweater off. And I um, actually rolled the window down. So while I'm sitting there, I noticed this SUV pulls up on my right side. And I noticed that when it pulls up, it's pulling up and coming in in the wrong direction. Because all the parking is facing, facing the direction that the vehicle came in. So I'm still sitting there watching the young lady get out the vehicle. And I noticed that she has children. And I'm still on the phone talking to a business partner. So while I'm on the phone talking to a business partner, I noticed that the young lady goes to the very first apartment and she knocks on the door. When she knocks on the door, she steps way back from the door. And I'm like, saying, that's kind of strange. A person that knows somebody don't normally step that far back, but still, I'm not the one to judge. So fool around, the young lady left the front door and I'm still on the phone talking to my business partner, which the young lady had passed my car on the way going to the apartment now she passed my car on the way going back i'm still on the phone talking to my business partner the lady come back and she said excuse me she said um are you on the phone talking i said yes i am and she says i really need someone to talk to are you from here i said no i'm i'm, I'm from here because this is home for me but i don't live here anymore she said, I need someone to talk to. I said, oh, okay. And she said, um, can, can, do you have a few moments to talk to me? I said, sure, absolutely. I told my business partner at the time, I said, girl, let me get off the phone with you. Let me see what's going on with this young lady and I'll call you right back. <laughs> so I gets off the phone with the young, gets off the phone with my business partner and I place my phone in the passenger seat. The young lady gets to talk, and I don't want to give any description because if I give too much detail about this young lady, somebody's going to know who I'm talking about. And it's not about her, it's the action that took place for other people's safety. So she comes back to the car, and we're talking, and as she's talking, she said, um, I would like to talk to you, but I don't want to talk to you here. I'm like saying, okay, what's the difference with you talking to me here than talking somewhere else? I still said okay she said could I get your telephone number and can I call you later I said absolutely you can she said my name is such and such I said oh okay I said well if I don't answer my phone please leave me a voicemail or send me a text and I'd definitely be glad to chit chat and talk with you she said yeah because I really need someone to talk to I said oh okay at this instant, you all, I'm being aware of my surrounding and everything. And her kids had called her and she said, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. The next thing out of this young lady's mouth was, can I use your phone? I thought about it and I said, no, I'm not going to be able to let you use my phone because my phone is downloading some information. You all, she said, oh, okay, and went on about her business. After that young lady went on about a business, I was aware that there was nobody else around and that I was on a blind side. It doesn't matter that apartment complex have cameras. Cameras only can do something later, but not at that time. So I realized I was all by myself and she know what kind of car I'm driving and no telling who else I hear up and got the hell out of Dodge. Long story short you all, what I'm getting to, stop letting people use your phone if you do not have your cash app protected, your cash app need to have a pin on it. If someone use your phone and you do not have your screen lock, that they can only use your use the phone and the phone only, or they can run off with your phone and then you have to report it lost or stolen. These days and time, not too many people is without a phone. Either they have a phone or somebody that is with them or connected to them or rolling with them or kicking it with them or whatever. Somebody has a phone, even if it's a food stamp Medicaid phone, okay? So what I'm saying, the reason why I gave this testimony is a young lady that I know of 
She worked at Walmart at the gas pump. The young lady witnessed another young lady that worked at the gas pump, the Walmart service station part. There was a lady came in and asked to use the phone. Now, the young lady that I know said, sure, you can use the phone in the store. You can use that, but you can't use my cell phone. This young lady, other young lady said, oh, it's no big deal if she used my phone. She can use my phone. Long story short to all, that lady made a phone call or assumed she made a phone call, acted like she made a phone call, pretended she made a phone call. After everything was over with you all, guess what? When that lady gave her her phone back and she checked it, guess what? That young lady that used her phone had cashed out her, herself or someone else $500. So you all that's running with all these apps on your phone, put a pin on these apps so when somebody use your phone, which nobody should be using anybody's phone, know that they cannot take your money because once they cash out, Vimo, Chime, whatever you want to call it. You can't fight that. That is just a cash transaction and you just lost out. So I was very, very grateful that I was mindful when the young lady asked me to use my phone. I told her no. Wish she would not have been able to do anything, but just in case I was on the up and up. I was very mindful of my surrounding and I was very mindful. Long time ago, I used to say, sure, you can use my phone. Sure. Now, the answer is no. I pay this phone bill. I push out the bills on this and I don't let any and everybody use my phone. But that young lady, after she really needed someone to talk to, needed the phone number, looking to move outside the place, that outside the city that she was living in, all of a sudden, she thought and she needed to use my phone. <laughs> that did not happen. Protect your phone, protect your investment, protect your money. These convenience stores has phones that customers can use that can go to the local convenience store. Stop letting people use your phone. They are getting you. Put a pin on your cash app, your Vimo, your, your Zales or whatever it is. Put a pin on it. I say that because I myself got got before. I did not have my pin on my cash app. A person in a whole nother city and state got cash from me. I had to report that car lost and stolen and then I had to change my email and all sorts of stuff as well as I also turned around and got a new um, pen. So you can't do a transaction from my phone without putting in a pen. And that happened to me right before Christmas but I was grateful that I didn't have a lot of money on my cash shop because my instinct kept telling me stop leaving money on your cash shop stop leaving money on your cash shop leave your money in your bank account and I did that for it kept telling me that for November and December and luckily I had less than ten dollars on my account when they used a transaction don't even know how they got my card I don't know how what I don't I just don't know and they did a transaction all the way um, at a target all the way in Miami Florida so you all protect your money, protect your values, protect anything that belongs to you. Don't nobody need to use nobody's phone. The, uh, when uh, Barack Obama was in office, he gave out all them free phones for food stamps and Medicaid. So don't nobody need to be using nobody's phone. But I was just very, very grateful that I did not let the young lady use my phone because I remember in the back of my mind, that young lady that worked in a Walmart gas station that let a complete customer, total stranger, use her phone. And that young lady had got got. Yes, I said got got. Y'all know where I'm coming from. If y'all from the streets and from where I come from, she got got out of $500. Hey, sissy, how's everything going? So that is my little bit of being aware and being mindful of what's going on. Stop spending so much time talking. Stop spending so much time lot of gagging.
people are about to lose their mind. People is going crazy. People are trying to figure out how they're going to pay their bills, how they're going to get their next meal, how they're going to pay their bills, how they're going to keep their lights on, how they're going to keep their rent on, how they're going to keep their car from being repossessed. People are about to lose their mind. People are committing suicide because they don't want to be homeless. They don't want to be, excuse my language, they just don't want to be ass out. Everything is shifting and changing and people are losing their mind. People are doing riots. People are jacking people. So be mindful. Even when people call your phone, you all, don't clarify anything with the word yes. Somebody said, am I speaking to May? I speak to Sally. And you say, this is she. You don't have to say, this is she. All the time when you're talking to somebody, do not use the word yes. You can say anything. You can say you don't recall. You don't know. It can be you yourself, but don't say the word yes. You don't know who's recording. And all they have to do is take that one recording and record it where everything has a question. And before you know it, you're liable for something. Especially if you got a debt collector calling you, okay? So avoid saying the word yes when you're talking to bill collectors and debt collectors or whatever the heck you call them. So be mindful in the world what's going on. The same thing like I'm driving. I'm driving, but I'm mindful of everything that's going on. But you all, this is a time that you all saying, where's my stimulus and y'all losing your mind over $600? Well, guess what? People trying to figure out how they're going to get your 600 and get somebody else 600 and get somebody else 600 because everybody know that right now a majority of the people are running on a cash system either it's gonna be cash out either it's gonna be venmo either it's gonna be I, i'm just thinking of some stuff off the top of my head chime and there's a whole lot more out there guard your money guard your access everything is linked to your phone you should not be leaving your phone around you should not just let anybody use your phone everything should be password protected and if it's password protected don't have your password where everybody know your password oh it's easy to figure out your password make your password where it is something that you value like you value your social security number and don't make your pin the last for your social security number your date of birth the year you was born your kids birthday or year they was born your anniversary date stop using the basic simple thing because people that know you know that simple thing and most of the time when you get jacked you getting robbed you getting got a lot of times it's not even the strangers in the street that's getting you it's the people closest to you that's getting you because they know the basic simple information about you but I was very grateful that I told the lady I'm downloading I got stuff down I looked over at my phone I said uh-uh uh, I'm downloading some stuff I did not let that young lady use my phone <laughs> That wasn't happening, not in this lifetime. Nobody can use my phone. 911, I'll call 911 and put it on speakerphone. I'll hold it. You need a place a phone? Call. Let me go ahead and call. And I'll dial the number and I'll put it on speakerphone. Do not let your phone out of your hand. People are doing any and everything. And don't think because y'all got these iPhones, the iPhones can't be sold and traded. Y'all can have that locate my iPhone. But if you get into the right hands, believe me. Trust me, they will wipe your iPhone, and before you know it, they done sold your iPhone, and before you know it, get uh, your iPhone now probably sitting at a pawn shop, or your iPhone done already been done, whatever you call it, and it's at one of them prepaid. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I might not know the word for it right now, but either way it go, guard to phone, guard to phone. This is the year of 2021, and these these people with these mindsets are getting smarter and smarter and smarter by the day by the day and if it's anything governmental governmental i don't care if it's the irs i don't care if it's the social security y'all let me tell you these big boys don't have time to call you these big boys are gonna be writing you in black and white you won't receive a letter in the mail why because they know that anything in black and white stands in the court of law and i fit the whole you know conversation on the phone this is such and such and such and i'm calling you on a recording line and right now you got a warrant for your arrest and we need to take care of that and you need to go to the store and go get a vista car matter of fact make sure that it's a vanilla uh, a vanilla vanilla visa gift card y'all all of that don't even sound right matter of fact can you go to a western union or a money gram and wire us some money so that you don't have this one and then the biggest one 
What's this here they got going out talking about you don't want some money? But in order for y'all know the ones that you get and they send you a like a like a type letter and it's asking for your name, your date of birth, social security number, stuff like that. <coughs> and they got a whole bunch of lines for you to fill out. Y'all know that ain't no legit form. And then they're going to tell you, congratulations, you get $50,000, $60,000, $70,000, $100,000. But in order for you to get the money, you got to pay for a certificate or a bond so that the people, here go the certificate, so that they can deliver you the cash. And we can't get it to you. Let me tell y'all something. If you got to pay cash to get cash, you stupid if you do it because they just got you. They just got you. If they tell you to go get a gift card and give them the numbers over the phone, they just got you. All you just gave them was the number so they can upload the money to their card. Duh. And then the biggest one I think now is something dealing with Amazon or, or, or PlayStation or something. Y'all, come on now. It's still an electronic gift card transferring it from one thing to another. So be mindful in this season. Anyway, you all, I'm going to quit. Because I might not look like I'm smart, but I got a lot up here, okay? But I was very grateful that I was aware of what was going on, and I was very grateful to actually go ahead, put my car in reverse, and get up out of there, get out of the door, because no telling what they might have scoped out, what they might have seen, what could have been the next step. So I didn't give that opportunity. I thought, of, I said, let me get up out of here. Anything can happen. So always do things for your safety. That's another reason why I travel. In the daytime, anything can happen. Anything. Anything. So for my safety as a black woman, as a single woman that loves traveling, I love traveling by myself. But at the same time, I don't want my kids to be worried about me. I don't want my siblings to be worried about me. I don't want my friends and family or business partner to be worried about me. So I do everything in safety. And when I am traveling, you all, I don't travel alone. Smile. I don't travel alone. And at the same time, a lot of times I'm on the phone talking. I done told somebody that I'm passing up this or I'm passing up that. You know, and most people know that the road that I travel, they can pinpoint and know exactly where I'm at. So I do stay in touch with friends and family that I know that if something did happen, they could be on the road to rescue me. Not just somebody to be talking to and conversating with that when you need them, oh girl, if I, if, if, I, if I could, I would. Those ain't the type of friends you want in your circle. But anyway, y'all be mindful, be careful. I'm still looking at the road, so I'm really not looking inside this phone. I'm just chit-chatting with y'all and look down real quick. But y'all have a good one. Uh, probably late on tonight. I'll be coming back on tonight because I want to talk about some things. One thing that I have tr really, truly chose to say yes to and why I do what I do. So y'all be looking for me coming back, especially my night owls. You know, the ones that I like kicking it with. Y'all know how we do it. And let's just have a conversation tonight. And let's have a conversation probably anywhere between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm normally not up that late. But I definitely do want to uh, have a conversation and let's just talk. Let's just communicate. Let's just have a little word, okay? But until the next time, y'all be blessed, be safe. Let me go ahead and knock out the rest of these miles and this little bit of drive time so I can get back home safely before it get dark. Have a good one. Bye.